how's it going everyone this is Sean here from the scale model car guy channel and I'm coming back with the final of my buddy build with Chris Cortell at CP 101 everybody go check out his channel which I'm sure y'all have but the ones who haven't by chance go check him out he builds just about everything sci-fi figures uh, military cars trucks it don't matter customs he builds it all and uh first of all i want to thank all my subscribers all my new subscribers and uh this is what i got going on me and chris both built the vintage imc 48 ford coupe and this was my take on it she's in red oxide primer the red wheels with the hubcaps. I hand painted the white walls, hand drilled the holes to wear the chrome trim. I put very subtle pinstriping on it. You can see right there on the cow. Got a few speed shop decals. Board in the back. Pins drop in there. Now my uh, license plates. I don't know what happened to them. I touched them. They look like they're about to disintegrate. Doors open. Now that one right there I'm not going to open. I have trouble with it. This body. It was all a multi-piece body and everything don't line up the best. You can see that hood don't line up the best. Let's pop that hood and let you look underneath there. There's the flathead V8. Two deuce carbs. Got the battery. The horn. I got it wired up. You can see the the wiring rail there that holds the wire looms. Or the, it's a wire loom, I guess. There's the plug wires. I've got that door open already because they're kind of hard to get in and out. So, let you look in there. I don't know if it'll zoom in very good or not. You can see the carpet. There's the gear shifter. Got a heater box in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's the door panel. Let's see if we can get the... This thing just don't want to focus very good. But, of course, the build pictures will be at the end of this. If you look on the dash, I got pinstriping on the dash this was a fun build kind of a kind of a difficult build with the multi-piece body and all that but like I said I just went for the old hot rod style there's the bottom of it I'll turn that over here you can see did kind of a, a little bit of weathering I guess it ain't like rusty or nothing like that but it's scuffed up looking and everything but uh, dual exhaust I used the chrome pin on the the uh, sideboards there and then a matte black and I used the chrome pin on the grill chrome pin around the window and the side window now the rest is just rubber seals no chrome here it is from the front I actually put the 46 grill in this I liked it better you can make this car 46 47 or 48 let's see if we can't get that closed up yeah they're a little bit difficult to there we go there's that side closed you can see the gaps in it the the frame and and this body part here had some warpage on it when i trued that up or got it the best i could but then it kind of got my doors out of line that one's out of line and you can see there that one barely shuts but 
that's what happens when you got 50 plus year old kit you know and it's a multi-piece body that's old technology of course you know the Ravel kit which I have several of those uh, are a lot better kit but it's a pretty cool vintage kit for the time and era it was it was all right and uh so that's my build right there and uh there's the box or one last let's put that hood back on there so you can see it one last time with the hood on it there's the side view front all right guys that's it for my buddy build Chris, if you're listening here, we need to do this every year. We need to pick us out a kit, vintage kit, and build it once a year. If you don't mind, thank you. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.